Hey, Crypto Growth Fam, how's it going? This is your host, Shazib, signing in. We're back with another video, guys. In this video, we will be discussing Velo Labs, the digital economic renaissance. It's going to be an interesting video, guys, so make sure to watch till the end. And folks, for those of you who are new to the channel, we primarily discuss utility coins and potential gems. If you're interested in any of that stuff, then um, hit, hit the subscribe button and also the notification icon for regular videos. And you can also support the channel by becoming a Patreon. So do check that out as well if you need to, if you want to see the ch channel rolling for years and want to support. <coughs> Anyways, guys. Let us begin first and foremost with the price of uh, Velo at the time of the recording, guys. So, Velo is down 6.17% for the day, and the price is $0.005516. But this isn't the real picture, guys. Let me show you uh, the seven day chart uh, in, uh, in the last seven days. At the moment, Velo is up 3.99%, but guys, it went all the way from 0.005054 all the way to 0.0065 approximately. Look at the monthly, guys. Yeah, it went all the way from uh, 0.00349 to 0.0065, up 69.61% at the moment. It tested this resistance level out over here, broke it came back down and I think that it is support it has a good support in this range it might again go and test this uh, resistance line over here because guys let me show you something this U is being formed over here if you look at this this in in technical aspects guys a really bullish uh, pattern is being formed and uh, this is a crucial resistance line over here but if it break it it tries it is trying to break through this if it does break through this guys i see this going to 0 0.01 uh, in the in the near short term guys or the medium range i see it going to this and tr testing this out but uh, not financial advice obviously you guys can do your own due diligence your own research and only invest what you can afford to lose <clears throat> let me show you this as well so yeah Check this out. This U, which we're talking about, if this U gets completed here, like FET has already done, and like Velo is trying, I'm not working for the next 150 years. So uh, this is uh, about another uh, coin, but uh, a U is being formed in Velo as well. Let us uh, further look into, yeah, that's fast, the bounce of most coins and also Velo. So check this out. So, why is Velo the digital uh, economic renaissance? Let, we are going to be going through that. Velo is basically forging great partnerships. It is building, it is developing, it is progressing at a tremendous pace, guys. <clears throat> this is a pinned post. Breaking news, crafting Laos Web3 finance. And Velo calls itself the Web3+. Plus. Velo partners with PL, PTL Holding to propel Laos. If you do not know, Laos is, a, Laos is a country in Southeast Asia into a new era of economic growth and digital innovation, marking a pivotal moment through the signing of Memorandum of, of, Memorandum of Understanding. The strategic collaboration emphasizes Laos a national digital economy plan. So basically, it is. Uh, Velo is trying to transform Laos, a country, a sovereign country's national digital economy plan, guys. This is not something to be taken for granted. Uh, let me assure you, Velo is legit. Uh, obviously, uh, anything can go south or not in crypto, but one of the most calculated risks out there in the entire market. We've been talking about it since a very, very long time. Laos visionary leap into next generation finance, dynamic implementation of progressive policies, Laos distinct advantage in future Web3 payment innovation. Awesome. Let me show you this uh, uh, article, Velo partners with PTL Holdings. 
As per the information detailed in the press release, the partnership between the Velo, Web3 Plus ecosystem, and PTL8's capabilities intends to enable Laos to accelerate its digital finance adoption. Basically, taking Laos to the digital sphere, the digital arena, the, dig the, the digital realm, Velo currently operates in the digital finance sector, providing inclusive and efficient financial solutions via its Web3 Plus ecosystem. So Velo is providing and offering real-life solutions, guys. The real-world utility is there in, in Velo. We talk about mass adoption. We talk about utility, guys. A, a sovereign state is basically adopting Velo's services, Velo's solutions, Velo's technology. This is... The personification of mass adoption, guys. What else is mass adoption? Uh, <laughs> let me know. I mean, th these are the baby steps. These are the steps towards that adoption. The company's objective is to enhance how individuals connect with finance by offering technology, uh, technology and supporting financial inclusion and accessibility. Obviously, uh, Velo and all these projects we that we usually talk about they are trying to support the already the the already the legacy systems uh, in, in to integrate them in the modern with the modern systems to have inclusion and accessibility awesome velo ptlh partnership objectives though this collaboration the two companies support the laos pdr's proactive steps towards improving finance by using blockchain technology so obviously uh, using blockchain technology to uh, further the needs and provide solutions and strategically aligning its plans with other nations this is a keyword other nations so when uh, it the, uh, the it, this is like the domino effect if one country if one state is using it in this case if laos is using it this will have a dominoes effect and uh, this is going to be uh, going to different South Asian countries from there to Asia and from there on out. Uh, Velo is going to be having footprints all across the globe slowly and gradually. These are baby steps but a significant one indeed because a country is involved here guys. This is, this is, this is huge guys in my opinion. And uh, guys uh, one more thing. Let me show you something in the chart. Yeah, the $40 million market cap, guys, this is, I think, it is extremely undervalued at the moment. And uh, the fully diluted market cap uh, we sh uh, we, th that should be taken under consideration is $24 bill uh, billion do uh, supply at the moment. But this is burning. I saw in uh, the Willow's website somewhere that they plan to burn this uh, as well because they have already burned the, the the max supply to 24 billion approximately uh, overall tokens and they will continue to burn it as well i've read it so uh, the 40 million dollar market cap for what it is doing aligning itself with these sovereign states guys that is awesome. Check this out. This is from News PR Newswire as well. Velo is set to establish strategic partnership with leading industry innovators with products like Universe, uh, a hybrid decentralized platform boasting Web3 Plus technology and Lightyear, a cutting-edge Web3 trading bot. This partnership marks a breakthrough for Velo in 2024 and the Web3 finance industry. The products of uh, Velo are great. It is launching its own chain, the Nova chain, uh, its own DAX. It has its own payment structure. Eight products, I think, which uh, cumulatively it calls the collectively it calls the uh, Web3 Plus. The Web3 Plus technology are all the products uh, combined. The amalgamation of all these uh, products, guys. So. Check this out, Transact Cloud, a notable techno uh, te technology company known for providing round-the-clock operational support and systems interoperability services, is partnering with Velo. FT Worldwide is a leading liquidity provider specializing in various trading instruments, offerings, and product advisory for OTC market participants. Velo's partnership with them will enhance its services for users including fixing and forward products for OTC services tailored to meet the needs of various entities. Uh, guys, this is the best part of part of Velo that it tailors the solutions according to the needs of uh, these various entities, businesses, corporations. It is involved with all these uh, companies and uh, organizations. Awesome. 
This strategic alliance exemplifies a commitment to innovation, transparency, and connectivity. Awesome. It marks a breakthrough for Velo in 2024 and the Web3 industry. And we can see that, guys, that uh, the price has reacted well. We've been talking about Velo since a while. It is still undervalued for what it is providing. We were talking about Velo since a while now. 0.0022 so kudos to those who have uh, basically gained uh, in this short term run but uh, guys uh, in my opinion velo has uh, much more potential to run wild in the future as well so do your own due diligence your own research you only invest what you can afford to lose but do, do dig into velo and we continue to uh, talk about it in the channel as well so stay tuned and guys this was it for the video if you liked it make sure to like share comment and uh, uh, subscribe and also hit the notification icon if you're interested in utility coins and potential gems and you can also become the patreon to support the channel like i always say at the end until next time stay blessed and stay tuned thank you very much everyone